Okay, the number two exception. What is the natural consequence of two kids tossing your favorite lamp back and forth in the living room like a football? Anyone? It breaks and someone possibly can get hurt. It breaks. So broken lamp. So the exception here is when the natural consequence interferes with your rights or the rights of other people, you don't let natural consequences do the teaching. So if the child's behavior interferes with your rights or the rights of other people, you don't do them. This is, to me, the one where you don't get to take your unruly children to a nice restaurant. <laughs> okay? You can take them to Chuck E. Cheese. You can take them to Sizzler. You can take them to, you know, all the places that we know are appropriate for loud, noisy, obnoxious children. But you can't, I don't feel it's appropriate to take a, a, a child who doesn't know how to, who's not ready to sit still yet and, or behave appropriately in a nice restaurant where there's other people that have an expectation of a, a meal without a screaming kid running or muck, okay? I think we have, we have the responsibility to not allow our children's behavior to affect the freedom of other people whenever possible. And of course, there's exceptions to this. You know, on a plane, we all have to just be compassionate for a parent with a, you know, a hurting, screaming child and just do our best to cope and send them lots of love because that's a situation where they can't control but a restaurant you can take your noisy kid out and not affect the impact that they're having on other people in that restaurant a lot of parents don't like my advice here but i stand by it 